going to make some homemade cough syrup. It's getting to be cold and flu season, getting under the weather and everything, so I figure I'm going to make some homemade cough syrup. Figure I'd kind of bring you along while I make the process. I didn't want to set up the tripod. It's kind of simple what I'm going to be doing. So what you're going to do is take local raw honey, equal parts of local raw honey, your favorite bourbon. In this case, I'm going to do JD, Jack Daniels. And then say if you do like a quarter cup of your local raw honey, you're going to do a quarter cup of uh, Jack Daniels. And you'll add it to a pot, which I got on the stove. And then you're going to squeeze a lemon, which I'll put in the juicer and squeeze. And then you're going to, like, grate up some candy. I got peppermint, which I got this big bag at Ollie's for $5.99. The softer peppermint. You can add cinnamon. Um, whorehound is what the um, older people used to use in back in the day. That's really good. Um, but I did pick up the peppermint. This is what we're using. I'm using about eight pieces. Um, six to twelve is about the range to use. That's what I'm going to be using today. Um, about. I'm going to measure out because this is all the honey, local raw honey I've got. So I'm thinking it's going to be about a quarter cup, I believe. So we're going to measure it out and see and go by, play it by ear on this. We're going to put this in the mortal and pestle it and everything, grind it up real fine. We're going to put all that in the pot, put it on very low heat just to get it all mixed together you don't want to lose the properties of it all but you don't want to mix this stuff if you or have this if you are on certain medicines so do your research so i'm going to get started and kind of bring you along as i go all right now we got it on the stove on low and slow just to heat the honey up Remember, you got the bourbon in there that's alcohol. So you don't want it on high. You don't want to boil it. You want low and slow to keep the properties in there, the benefits in there. You want the honey and the candy to melt and mix well with the bourbon and the lemon juice. Oh, this smells amazing. And then we're going to funnel it into a glass jar. And turn it up just a tad. And see the candy starting to melt. Mix. This takes a little while. But you keep with it. Do not rush it. It is well worth the time. I'll bring you back when it's time to pour it in the bottle. Now what you do is take this before you go to bed. It's smooth but it's quite strong. Uh, adult, the adults usually take about two teaspoons or two tablespoons. I usually take a tablespoon and a half before I go to bed. My dad used to give this to me when I was little. And he'd only give me like a teaspoon. Because this is quite strong. And it will knock a cough out. So, even though it's delicious and everything, don't go strong on it. And I wouldn't take it during the daytime. Like I said, I'd take it during, you know, when you're getting ready to go lay down. But I'll bring it back. Or bring you back when it's time to bottle it up. Alright, it's about time to pour it into the jar. And then we'll let it cool. As you see, candy's about melted. The honey's already 
dissolved into the bourbon. This is sticky, so keep that in mind. If you're a diabetic or if you take certain medicines, you might want to just kind of keep that in mind. So, we're going to bottle this up now. Okay, I was obviously leave the lid off and let it cool completely before I put the lid on because this is hot. And you see there's a piece of a couple of pieces of candy that didn't dissolve. That's okay. That's all right. Then we'll just have an extra dose of candy that day. But there you have it. Homemade cough syrup. This stuff is really good too. Do not overindulge. It is alcoholic. As you know, you are putting bourbon in it. The stronger, the better. Do you know that's 80 proof right there? But, like I said, you know, adults, you know, a couple teaspoons, a tablespoon, at most, two tablespoons right before bedtime. I'll knock your cough out. I am not a doctor, but this is what my daddy and a lot of older people used back in the day. And it worked. So, if you're looking for a home cure this is something to look into like subscribe check out our other videos we love having you here see you on the flip side